Get a 60-day free trial from today's sponsor at shipstation.com forward slash forge. Welcome back. As you know, we bought a house about a year and a half ago and we've been trying to renovate it. It's taken a long time. The kitchen, master bedroom and ensuite are just about ready to move back into, but there are a few finishing touches that I need to make here so that it ends up being a little bit more homely. The ensuite needs a toilet paper roll holder and the kitchen needs a tea towel rack. So the tea towel holder is gonna be quite simple. All I need, the little rail that comes off from underneath the butcher block top. Anytime I need to put a fuller in for a bend, I put the center punch mark on the edge. That way I don't start punching holes where I need to fuller and don't start fullering where I need to punch holes. I just love the aesthetics of things like this. I think it looks so beautiful. Something as simple as a fuller in a bar, a few little punched holes. Mm. So how is this actually going to attach to the island? Screw it in underneath the countertop through those two holes. Have you measured the lip of the countertop? I think it's big enough. I might double check that. Hello, can you measure how much countertop extends beyond the kitchen island. Right, so I didn't measure it properly, or at all. Kind of made a mistake. Whoops. I need to chuck another bend in here to modify this. Ow! So instead of the bracket coming in like this, gonna come in and then go across again, and we'll screw here. That'll do nicely. Well, that's done being forged. Just needs a little bit of a fettle up on that inside corner because that fuller bulges it out, which is lovely and pretty, but that's gonna hit the countertop. So we can't have that there, but we can have it here. Protect it with a little bit of wax. Right, let's pop it in and get on to job two. All right, tea towel holder is gonna be going, gonna sit like this. I'm quite fond of this design style. Very simple, hopefully tasteful, at least it is to me. I'm very happy with that. Now on to the next honeydew. Job two is a little toilet roll holder, also sometimes called bog roll holders. And I'm gonna try and make it based off a design that I did many, many years ago, back when I was doing craft fairs and selling little bits and bobs as a young 16, 17, and 18 year old. The tea towel rail is made out of 10 mil square. This time we're gonna cut off a handling length of 12 mil or half inch square bar. Finish it off with a little angled cut instead of a square end. Now you see, there would be a problem if it was just like this because you wouldn't be able to screw into it or drill the hole. So we're going to chuck a little bend in there, offset it nicely. A bit of wax for this too, and it's done. All right, so where do we think we want the toilet paper? As I'm Probably sitting- Probably up there. I do not have arms long enough to reach it. On my magical throne, I need to be in arm's reach of toilet paper at all times. This would actually be perfect, because then I can screw into that board. Wow. 
one more item on the agenda. We need a curtain rail. Now, listen up here. They do have a nickname for me based on my very particular set of skills, and that is the draftsman. First step, the brackets. Right, what material should we choose? I would like some 16 millimeter square. I might not have any 16 millimeter square. You might have to settle for smaller or bigger. It's gonna be one of them, isn't it? You could force your 22 down into 16. It's a really good idea. It's almost like we have power hammers and equipment for forging and things. And I'm a blacksmith and I can change the dimensions of the material. Who would have thought it? Now have a look at those utterly glorious and sexy tongs that we sell at the Alex Deal Co. that hold this three-quarter inch square beautifully. We are going to forge this down. Thank you, Jamie, for reminding me I'm a blacksmith. I'm going to forge this down to 16 millimeters or five-eighths of an inch square. That's going to be our starting stock, about 12 inches long. Jamie, you're wasting heat. Goodness gracious. Ah! I dare say that is artful. Yes. Did you just kick my punch off? <laughs> Can't find the hole. Is that the hole? That's a hole. Found a hole. I think that's this hole. Thank you, sir. No, 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 no. The bend's oh. in the wrong side. Wrong side. No. Rats. I have royally and utterly messed this up. Made two crucial mistakes. Number one, I planned to put the bending fuller on the wrong side. Now this fuller right here, it's for making our 90 degree bend. If I bend that 90 degrees, well then the grooves that are meant to support our curtain rails are not gonna be supporting it. The curtain rails will drop. Like that. The curtain rails are meant to be supported like this, with gravity. Not only is there that problem, the holes are on the wrong side. If I intend to bend this back that way, I need the holes to be here. This cut is on the wrong side too. So we're running out of time. We are meant to install these today. Very important we install them today, but it's one o'clock in the afternoon. I have one hour to get all of this done to have any hope of installing it. So instead of messing around, trying to fix this, I'm gonna sacrifice the fact that I wanted 16 millimeters. I'm gonna use 20 mil because that's the bar that we've got on the shelf. I'm gonna cut new bars at 20 mil and we're just gonna cruise on through and hopefully get it right. Starting from scratch, here we go. Fast as can be. Done to it? Oh, it's not looking good. The fuller isn't wide enough for it to make a nice 90 degree bend. It doesn't look too bad to me. Yeah, it's just a little bit more brute force than I would have liked, really. 
Are you going to heat it up and try it again? Uh, actually, I don't think it needs another heat. It's looking pretty good. I think we can go straight to the next one. And while I wheeled them up, we've rushed back now to put them in place. It felt really good to get back at the anvil. I'm really happy with how this all turned out. Thank you so, so much for watching. This episode has been sponsored by ShipStation. It is a web-based e-commerce shipping platform that syncs to pretty much every single sales platform you can imagine. Whether you've got a Squarespace site, you sell things on eBay, Amazon, all your orders will sync directly into ShipStation where with the use especially of their powerful automations, you can turn shipping into a one-click operation. The number one reason for people abandoning their carts when they're purchasing things from your websites tends to be that the shipping costs are too high. And so as a small business owner, it's incredibly important for you to be competitive. And with a ShipStation membership, you get access to the type of shipping rates that usually only Fortune 500 companies can get. Over 100 130,000 companies from small to huge have built their business using ShipStation and 98% of companies that use ShipStation for a year find it so good they stick with it for life. So please go check it out. It's incredibly easy to set up and you'll have 60 days free when you go to my link in the description down below. That is ShipStation.com forward slash forge. We're using them every single day at the Alex Deal Co. And I'm sure you're going to love it too. Thank you. Bye-bye.